Spring Integration Gateways. Hello again everybody, my name is Jim White and this is the eighth and final of our tutorials on Spring Integration presented by Intertech. In tutorial 7 we looked at service activators. We learned that a service activator in Spring Integration is a message endpoint for connecting a service object or what we call a bean in Spring to a message channel in Spring Integration. That object or bean is often called or referred to as a service in this context. And that service is going to be triggered when a message arrives in the message channel that the service activator is connected to. When configuring a service activator, you have to specify both the message channel that the service activator is going to pull on, as well as the message channel that is going to receive results should the service actor actually produce results. The argument to our service activator's service method can be either a message or some object of an arbitrary type. However, a service activator doesn't have to receive any kind of input, in which case the service activator is referred to as an event style service activator, one that just triggers the service as opposed to dealing with any data from the message. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at gateways. A gateway is Spring Integration's mechanism to loosely couple your application or one of your application components from the Spring Integration API, or for that matter, any messaging API system. The gateway is simply an interface, and that interface will be implemented by Spring Integration underneath the covers. Now, there are two different types of gateways in Spring Integration. There are synchronous gateways and asynchronous gateways. Synchronous gateways cause your application to block and wait for the Spring Integration system to return before continuing on with their processing. Whereas an asynchronous gateway allows your application to keep on trucking and not have to necessarily wait for results immediately from the Spring Integration system. As with all Spring Integration components, we see that a gateway has an EIP diagram icon, which is shown here at the bottom of the slide. Creating a gateway in Spring Integration is actually quite simple. One needs just to create an interface that will be implemented underneath the covers by Spring Integration by a gateway proxy factory bean. That interface, again, should be devoid of all Spring Integration knowledge. In other words, be decoupled from any Spring Integration API, or for that matter, again, any messaging API. Shown here is a small example. An interface called ship service defines one method, ship, and the idea is your application would call this ship method, passing in, in this case, an application's order object and getting back an application's confirmation object. Nowhere here do we see any Spring Integration API, and that's the point. It serves as a means, a facade, to allow the application to call on a Spring Integration system without having knowledge of that Spring Integration API. With the interface defined, one needs now only configure the gateway in your Spring Integration configuration. In this case, the ship service is configured with a default request channel of request channel and a default reply channel of reply channel. In the case of our gateway, the ship order object is going to be placed into the request channel for the Spring Integration system to start working on and it will reply back to the application through the reply channel with that confirmation object. With both the gateway defined and the gateway interface defined, we see here at the bottom of the slide the means now for the application to call on the Spring Integration system without directly referring to any of the API. It simply makes a call into this Spring Integration system by making what it looks like a call to a standard Spring Bean. In the last example, the gateway was synchronous. That is, the application had to block and wait for the Spring Integration system to make its response before the application could continue to do its work. In Spring Integration, gateways can also be made to be asynchronous. In order for a gateway to be asynchronous, we have to change the gateway interface. All of its methods must now return a future object. That's a Java util concurrent future object. 
because this is from the Java packages instead of from a Spring integration API, the application code can still remain loosely coupled from a Spring integration and its APIs. The application would also need to change its logic a little bit in making a call to that Spring integration system through the gateway. When making a call to the gateway, as we see at the bottom of this slide, what's returned is that future object from which the future object and a call to get allows us to retrieve the actual response object from the Spring integration system once that particular response is ready. So now you've learned about gateways in Spring integration and I think you're ready to tackle lab number eight. Our final lab in this tutorial series will allow you to check out gateways as we look at gateways to make calls into a Spring integration system that again is going to use a Pig Latin translator taking a look at strings being transformed from English to Pig Latin through a Spring integration transformer. You initially uh, implement that gateway as a synchronous gateway, but later in the lab you'll change it to be asynchronous, again using the Java future object to make that work. Thank you very much for joining me in the Intertech Spring Integration Tutorial Series. I hope you have found it helpful, and if you have found it helpful, please let others know about our tutorial series here at Intertech. If you could use some training assistance in Spring or other Spring-related topics like Spring MVC, check out uh, Intertech's training at intertech.com training. And if you could use some assistance on your Spring or Java project, please let us know and check out our consulting services available at intertech.com consulting. Best of luck and have fun with Spring integration.